I want to spend some time on the state of play at the line of actual control. This has been one of the contested issues on the political domain, where the charge is that the government of the day, the armed forces, haven't been transparent about the actual situation on the line of, con line of actual control between India and China. As the man whose primary task it is to keep all of us safe, can you give us a sense of play of how the situation is, in your view, across the line of actual control, and especially in Depsang and Demchok, the two sectors where the Indian and the Chinese armies are still uh, not being able to disengage? Right. So overall, I would say that the situation along the line of actual control is stable. But we need to keep a very close watch on the situation as it uh, develops. As far as the deployment of forces on, by the adversary is concerned, uh, there has been no significant reduction in the deployment. There have laid great focus on modernization of forces, especially those deployed opposite the line of actual control. The infrastructure development on the other side is coming about at a very hectic pace, be it the road infrastructure in terms of the highways which run along the LAC, be it the upgradation of airfields and heliports, or in fact, uh, the Shiakong villages, the border villages, 682 out of which are planned to come up. Now, these are some uh, major developments which we take to, uh, uh, need to take note of, especially in the context of the adversary's ability to mobilize troops. Uh, so that is one. As far as what we are doing, I think we have a very robust deployment all along the LAC in all the three sectors. And I must also mention we have adequate reserves to deal with any contingencies. With the infusion of new technology, new weapon systems, our capability development is an ongoing endeavor. Equally, we are focusing on infrastructure development, especially forward area roads, helipads, et cetera. So overall, I think in terms of our deployment is robust, our preparedness levels are high. From the winter months as we now transit into the summer months, so we have undertaken minor changes as you would do in a summer posture. So this, in a nutshell, is the situation. As far as resolution of outstanding issues, you know, through diplomatic and military talks and process of dialogue, we have been able to resolve certain friction points. Some are still remaining. At the military level, you have the senior higher military commanders conf uh, meetings, which last happened in December. And you have the WMCC, which is at more at a political level, or the diplomatic level, which happened sometime in February. So as we continue to talk and engage with the other side at these parallel levels, uh, I think we can look for resolution as we go forward. Beijing seems to be sending the message that this is the new normal, that things are where they believe things should be. What's your assessment of the enemy's strategic objective? Second, do you think this is the new normal, that the LAC will be like the line of control where the army will be deployed 24-7 at high altitudes regardless of the weather? See, there is an SEO summit mid-year, then the leadership summit uh, of the G20 nations in September, Xi Jinping likely to come to India. Uh, India being very clear that the current situation along the LAC is not acceptable. Does that offer a window uh, possibly for resolution? Do you think we just have to brace up for China being boots on the ground uh, across the line of actual control and that is the new reality the Indian Army needs to contend with? Like I mentioned, it is only through dialogue and talking to each other that we can uh, find resolution. And uh, in the balance friction point, that is what our uh, aim and endeavor is. And till that time happens, uh, till such time that happens, I think our deployment of forces, our alertness level will continue to remain uh, of a very high level. For the longest time, India's military posture was more towards Pakistan than towards China. Now the Pakistani army, for the first time in its institutional history, being challenged and questioned from within. How does that impact your understanding of what's happening along the line of control between India and Pakistan? Has the threat from Pakistan to some extent come down, given the internal challenges that the Pakistani army is facing? And given the fact that at the political and military level, India has made very clear that if there is to be any kind of terror attack on Indian soil, there will be consequences the Pak army will need to deal with. 
right? So in terms of the domestic situation in Pakistan, be it the political instability, the economic downturn, or the internal security challenges, all that uh, notwithstanding, I think we need to be extremely alert in terms of what happens on the line of control as well as further down on the international boundary. As far as present situation goes, uh, along the LC, we have a very robust counter infiltration grid. There has been reduction in infiltration attempts, but what we see is because of our effective infiltration grid in the valley, you find more attempts towards the international border sector further south. Also the use of drones for sort of, uh, shall I say, putting across explosive material, weapon system, drugs, is another trend that we have noticed. But largely the infiltration, I would say the numbers have uh, significantly reduced. But what is also uh, of concern is that there is no major significant reduction in the terror infrastructure on the other side. The reports tell us that the camps do exist. And so we, I mean, the attempts uh, for at infiltration might continue, of course, to which we are uh, well prepared. In the hinterland, uh, in the Jammu Kashmir area, I think there has been significant, again, reduction in violence parameters. We've also noticed a change in strategy from the other side, wherein you now have certain proxy Tanzims who have come up, and they're targeting or they're resorting to targeted killings. I feel largely to make it visible and to gain more publicity and visibility. But I think in concert with other security agencies, uh, we are doing well there and making sure that the you know, situation remains stable, the environment is secure for a number of de development initiatives and other activities.